Hey everyone. Well, uh, the other day I played Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting on Super NES, which was great, great home port. But um, the Sega people had their own home port, which is this one, and uh, it's called Street Fighter 2 Dash Special Championship Edition, and it's basically the same thing. It has Turbo, and it has champion which is championship edition it's a little less confusing because instead of calling it turbo and normal they call it um champion and hyper which makes more sense the only problem with this port is it's on sega genesis and um if you um oh, why won't it? if you just had like the regular sega genesis controller it was a bitch because um you had to um you know, use two buttons basically, and then like the third one, I forget what. Why can't I change the buttons? All right, we're just gonna go with it. I don't know how to change it. It's not working for me. So yeah, and also the title is confusing because if you're looking for Turbo, you wouldn't get something called Special Championship Edition Space Guile. Um, so it's, it's it's a bit weird, you know. You know, the six button controller, you had to buy that if you really want to play it decently. And of course, obviously, the graphics weren't as good. So where the fuck are the... Alright. I'm figuring it out. But if you had a Sega Genesis and you wanted to play Street Fighter 2, especially since there wasn't a port of regular Street Fighter 2, this was pretty good. You just had to get that controller to really play it decently, and you know, the graphics not being as good is not that big of a deal because, you know, it's uh, it's not only comparable to other Sega Genesis games, it looks quite a lot better than most Sega Genesis games, so you can't really complain too much. Yeah, I'm doing good considering the uh, buttons are completely unfamiliar to me because I couldn't figure out how to change them. Oh! Fail. Ah, fail. She got me. This twins going by, this the doublement twins. See, it's just, yeah. Like I said, it's a confusing title. Because you'd think Special Championship Edition, you'd think it's just Championship Edition and not Turbo. But it is, it, it does contain both, like the Super NES one. It's pretty much the same game, just on Sega Genesis. Not as good, but certainly not bad. That's every Genesis game. <laughs> well, I know, I mean, the Genesis had some classics. It really did. So people get the impression that I rag on the Sega Genesis because I say the Super NES is superior and that's not ragging on the Super. That's not ragging on the Sega Genesis. That's telling the truth. The Super NES was superior. Not fighting the console wars. That was ages ago. I hate saying you so much. Just stating a fact. It doesn't mean that the Sega Genesis is worthless or a bad system. It's anything but. And that's sort of the attitude that these console war idiots have, and it still goes on today. That they think that if one system's better than the other, then that means the one that's better is completely awesome and there's nothing wrong with it and it's wonderful and it's great. And the one that's not as good is terrible and it's a piece of shit and they got a rag on it on the internet. I mean, that's just, you know, that's just bullshit. I've played bad systems, you know, I've played, I've played the Jaguar, you know. The Sega Genesis. I enjoy playing it. It's just that when people request a Genesis game that was also on Super NES, I tend to not get that really because it's like, why would you? Ooh, forgot about that. Why would you request the inferior version? But then again, you know, it's just usually that's the version that they played and that they're familiar with. But in this case, I'm doing them all. And you know that the Genesis players tended to also get kind of a broad deal at times. I mean, if you're a Street Fighter fan, you know, they got the better version of Mortal Kombat. 
There's no doubt, man. And I'm not talking about the fucking blood, either. I'm talking about the gameplay. It was better. But if you're a Street Fighter fan, you know, you got ripped off with the Genesis because there was four Street Fighter games to choose from on the um, the Super NES. You had Street Fighter II World Warrior. You had Street Fighter II Turbo Hyper Fighting. And then there was even a version of Super Street Fighter II. And then there, and they somehow squeezed, and I and I'll show this to you when I get to that. Uh, they somehow squeezed Street Fighter Alpha Two onto the Super NES. It was not the best port, but considering it was Street Fighter Alpha Two, a game that was released, you know, for for PlayStation on the Super NES, they somehow did that, and it even came out in America. That's really, really impressive that, that it ran at all. And, you know, how many did the Sega Genesis people have? One. They only had Special Championship Edition. Well, actually, wait, there might have been a Super Street Fighter game. If, if there is, I have it on my list. But there was no Alpha 2, there was no regular Street Fighter. You know, let me bring up the list right now. Bring it over here. Is there a Sega Gen- Oh, there was- okay, never mind that there was a Super Street Fighter 2 on Sega Genesis. I've just never played it. I wonder what that's like. Hope I can figure out how to change the buttons in a timely manner. <laughs> this is interesting because where hard punch is is where medium punch usually is on my controller. And the same thing like where hard kick it is is usually where I put medium kick. And then like where hard punch usually is I have light kick and it's just interesting. Couldn't figure out how to. Mm. Got him. Doing pretty good though, considering that it's all discombobulated from where I usually play. Maybe this version is just easy. I don't know. It's actually the first time I'm playing Special Championship Edition. No, face the right way. Oh, okay. Let's let's just go through the car. That'll do it. Sweep the leg. Or in this case, the bumper. That'll do it. Perfect. Video is getting kind of long, so I'll just put one more battle in it. Ryu. Oh, I'm probably going to lose. <laughs> One thing I am noticing in this version that is inferior by far is the music. But, uh, yeah, the Genesis had a weird sound chip that you can get really great sounding music out of it if you knew what you were doing, but when it came to ports, most people didn't know what they were doing. It seemed that um, porting music from one computer to over, like whether it's arcade or Super NES or whatever, over to the uh, Genesis was very difficult to get the music to sound right. But then you think of like the Sonic games and shit, which had great sounding music and like Castlevania Bloodlines and shit. So it was possible to get a really good sound out of it. It's just that usually it wound up sounding like an Amiga with bad speakers. I'm probably gonna get some comment like the Amiga didn't have speakers or something, but oh, that, why did I jump up? That was just retarded. All right, well that that's it. I'll. Uh... We're going to continue. We're going to play another version of Street Fighter Turbo uh, coming up on the PlayStation, so we'll see you guys then.